Okay, so uh, just now we spoke about the InnoDB cluster operator. We call it as MySQL operator. So we have another cluster, what we call it as NDB cluster. Have you done NDB cluster before? Okay, so I will repeat, I mean, I will explain a little bit about NDB cluster and then the NDB cluster deployment on Kubernetes and then what will be the value of NDB operators to deploy NDB clusters on Kubernetes. Okay, so NDB cluster is very sophisticated cluster of MySQL because uh, data is not, you know, uh, put on the disk, but it is uh, stored on the memory. And we rely on, uh, you know, replications. Yeah, we rely on replication in order to provide ACID compliance. Yeah. And then uh, we have like LCP, local checkpoint, to make sure that the data in memory will be back up to the disk, but always late, right? Uh, we also m use uh, a GCP, okay, global checkpoint, uh, to check the status, okay, between uh, MySQL cluster nodes. Later, I will I will talk about it to make sure that uh, the data delta transaction. I mean, uh, make sure the consistency of the NDB cluster. So it is really distributed in memory data sets, yeah, and then always 99.99% uh, highly available and designed for mission critical and always consistent. Uh, we understand the InnoDB cluster, right? Uh, there are three nodes, one node read write, the, the rest of the node are read only. Okay, but in NDB cluster, every node are read write. Okay, and it's open, open source and massive linear scale and easy uh, of use. So this is the NDB cluster architecture. So what is NDB cluster? Actually, uh, it's collection of three kind of uh, component. Okay, first is NDB cluster data nodes, and then uh, you know, uh, NDB cluster management node and SQL node. Okay, data node is the w is the one that store data in memory. So the application can connect to data node directly, okay, but not using SQL, because data node does not understand SQL, okay. Uh, data node uh, can be accessed using NDB API, okay. But for application that use SQL, Okay, it needs to have SQL interface in front, right? That's why we are using SQL node. Okay, this SQL node is a MySQL that has uh, uh, support, uh, has uh, features, uh, features, <laughs> to yeah, to 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 run on NDB storage engine. Yeah. Then uh, this MySQL is basically become a SQL interface uh, for the NDB cluster. Okay, the design is basically to push down every SQL statement, but some SQL is still uh, executed on the, on the uh, SQL node, basically. So this is the uh, NDB cluster architecture, as you see. Okay, and uh, this is the NDB cluster uh, nodes, yeah, uh, process type. First is, uh, of course, uh, we know about data nodes is to store data in a memory, and secondly, data nodes uh, consists of you know uh, one or more, but one is not is not enough, right? Because it is stored in a memory. That's why we need to have redundancies. Uh, we can also have uh, sh uh, sharding. Yeah, we also uh, NDB cluster also has sharding mechanism to uh, spread out the records across NDB cluster nodes, and synchronous replications. It also have MySQL servers as SQL interface for the application to store, load data, query, whatever it is using SQL language. And it also has management node, okay, to manage, uh, to store the uh, configuration data. Imagine that you have, let's say, 48 data nodes and then MySQL servers, 100 MySQL server, maybe, oh, no, no, uh, 20 MySQL server, for example. Okay, uh, we need to have management node to store uh, configuration uh, parameter centrali cent centrally, right? so that it, it will be easy for us uh, to manage. And then uh, management node also control the cluster membership, and in case of network partitioning, okay, uh, management node will prevent uh, the network split brain. So this is the typical uh, architecture okay, for NDB cluster. Okay, so we have uh, application. So the application will connect to MySQL router, okay, 
and we can change this mass calculator to any load balancer, F5, A10, or whatever it is. Because this uh, load uh, mass calculator is just for load balance uh, across the MySQL server. Okay, unlike InnoDB cluster, InnoDB cluster have two role, okay, uh, primary and secondary, but this one, there is no role, right? Everything is read right. So we can just uh, load balance across. And then the MySQL servers will store and load data or query data from the data nodes. Okay, data node on the on back, and then the it store data on memory, actually. So um, have you played with uh, like, you know, this, like rate one, rate zero, rate 10, right? If we have a, a meager, we call it as rate one. If we have a rate 10, means that it will have a meager and stripe, right? This is the same concept, but we call it as a sharding. So this one and this one is completely replicate each other, okay, with synchronous. And then uh, on the top and then below is actually doing striping, yeah? In database, we call it as sharding, okay, where data uh, table is spread across. So since data is shared and replicate, then uh, NDP cluster can give you more high available, yeah? Okay, uh, for example, if SQL nodes down, even though it is down all, the cluster will not down. Only the application cannot connect on, yeah? But if, uh, the, for example, all down except one, the applications can still connect. Also, uh, if half of data nodes down, even, uh, as long as uh, still full data, yeah, full set of data is still up and running. Okay, let's say, for example, in this diagram, not two is down, not one also down, so half of it. But half of data will be on not one, half data will be not two over here, right? So, uh, so the cluster will still up and running. And management node does not need to be online. Okay, of course, management node is very critical, especially if we have, uh, you know, in NDB cluster running, uh, in a very shaky <laughs> networks that can easily uh, get uh, disconnected or whatever it is, okay? So and, uh, management node is very important for, you know, arbitrator, arbitrator yeah? Uh, uh, acting as the arbitrator. But uh, if the management node down, the, the, the cluster will still up and running. So this is the way uh, data nodes uh, uh, perform redundancies, okay? Actually, uh, each of data nodes will have a primary replica and backup replica, and they are in the, I mean, uh, replicating each other. So primary replica will replicate to backup replica and so on. So that both of them are active, active. Okay. So if uh, two is not enough, okay, we can actually shut the data by adding a data node. Yeah, two more data node. So the first data node, the first two data node, we call it as data node group zero, and the second data node, we call it as data node group one. So data node group zero and group one is Shading, yeah, shading the data and so on. Okay, so we put this concept into the NDB operator architecture. So the NDB operator architecture, of course, it requires operators. Okay, operator will run on its own uh, tenancy. Ah, uh, tenancy. Sorry, uh, namespace. Yeah, we call it as NDB. Uh, sorry, I think NDB underscore dash operators. Yeah, and then uh, one pod will be running over there, right, to manage the NDB cluster deployment on Kubernetes. And then uh, we have a data node, we have management node, we have MySQL server, okay? Uh, unlike MySQL operator for Kubernetes, yeah, deploy in NDB cluster, okay, we have two types, right? Stateful set for database, stateless for MySQL routers. But this one, every component are deployed as stateful set, okay? Even though uh, MySQL D is stateless, but we still deploy it at stateful set. This is the operator designs. Okay, so we have a stateful set for data node. Management also have stateful set, and MySQL servers also have stateful set that we can configure using kubectl. And we can deploy MySQL operators for, for NDB operators uh, using kubectl apply minus F, and then follow with this one. Then, yeah. Uh, we will have the NDB operator running in our Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so this is uh, 
a process, yeah, the process to deploy NDB cluster operator. First, if we, we need to create a namespace, kubectl create ns NDB cluster. So we will have, I mean, yes, I, I mean, sorry, not deploying the NDB cluster operator. Eh? This is to deploy NDB cluster, yeah, using NDB operator. First is to create a namespace, okay, uh, using kubectl create ns NDB dash cluster, okay. Then we we will have our own space to deploy NDB cluster, and then we have this YAML. Uh, content, yeah. Uh, kind is NDB cluster. Okay, since we deploy NDB cluster operator, then the Kubernetes uh, recognize the NDB as part of its own resources. Yeah, so it, it recognizes NDB cluster as a resources. Uh, <coughs> and name is my NDB, and redundancy level equal to two means that there will be a two uh, mirror. Yeah, mirroring. So this redundancy level is very important. Uh, to, uh, I mean, uh, to set yeah how many number of management nodes, how many number of node group, how many number of, you know, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. So this one is actually for data node. Node count equal to two, redundancy level equal to means that there only one node group. The only on, only one node group. As you see over here, because it's two node group. Okay, because four. Okay, redundancy level two. Okay, number of nodes four. That means there is two, right? But this one, uh, redundancy level two, and node count is two. That means only one node group. Okay, and this node group consists of two data nodes. Okay, and then uh, we also uh, optionally can attach the PVC. Since this one is uh, in memory, so actually we can replace like this. Okay, we can use this. Right, because this is completely in memory. But however, if we want to have like you no know, data to be persistent on the disk, we can still be able to achieve that uh, by using PVC spec or putting PVC spec here. So each of data node will have its own uh, PV and PVC to store data. Okay, and then MySQL node two means that there will be two uh, MySQL instance over there. And then once we execute this using kubectl, then uh, we can check uh, NDB cluster pods then. Okay, after maybe five minutes, ten minutes, we'll have that. Okay, as you see over there, uh, MGMD. MGMD is management node. So there are two management nodes over there. And then MySQL D. MySQL D is uh, MySQL nodes. Okay, also two, because this node count is two. Okay, and then NDB MTD, uh, zero and one. So there are two data nodes. So NDB MTD is data node. Uh, MySQL D is MySQL node. And MGNG is management node. So we will have, we already have the the ex, the the NDB cluster running in our Kubernetes, with I think very less effort, very less effort. And then we can we can also check the NDB cluster status using kubectl minus n NDB cluster get NDB. Then we can have like you know management node ready to target to data node ready to target to MySQL server ready to target to means that NDB cluster is fully running in our Kubernetes cluster. Yeah. Uh, the management node, yes. Unless we override with not count, yeah. Okay. So, so ideally, you would only specify the no count. Yeah. Uh, um, even though it's Yeah. Uh, then you have done that before. Two. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, this is a stateful set in NDB cluster uh, in our Kubernetes. Okay, all not are deployed in stateful set. There is no other. Deployment model <laughs> like InnoDB cluster. Okay, so InnoDB cluster there are two: eh, stateful set and replica uh, deployment. But this one is straight away uh, stateful set. Okay, there are three stateful set over there for management node, for MySQL node, and for uh, data node. Okay, and then uh, it also create a secret. Okay, which is MySQL, my NDB, MySQL D root password. This is very important. In uh, MySQL. In ODB cluster operator, just now we need to create secret, but this in NDB cluster they create secret for us. 
and then uh, we need to retrieve the the value. Otherwise, we cannot log in. Okay. And then uh, in data node, because I insert uh, PVC, okay, so we have we will have two PVC. Yeah, we have two PVC over here. Okay, to store um, so called uh, data, yeah, uh, from data node, yeah, especially for local checkpoint, yeah, it's very important for local checkpoint uh, to back up the data in memory to the disk, okay. And service, okay, service, we will also have service for management node, uh, data node, and as well as SQL node over there, okay. So uh, now, what next? <laughs> we need to access, okay, the management node, lah, just just to check, okay, what. Uh, kind of service running, so we can use kubectl, okay, minus n ndb cluster, okay, on the top, uh, ndb cluster is the namespace, and then exec minus it, my sq my ndb mg md zero means that I log into management node number zero number one, yeah, so <coughs> and then execute ndb mgm, ndb mgm is like management node client tools, yeah, uh, to log into the management node, minus c localhost why because I'm logging to the to the management node itself, <laughs> management node pod, so it's localhost, and then minus E followed by the command that I want to execute, okay, inside the MDB underscore MGM, which is show, it will show all, okay, uh, so this this one, I, uh, it shows NDB, NDBD, uh, it is very, very interesting, okay, if you know differences between MDD and MDMTD, okay, NDB MTD is multi-trading, and NDBD is single trading, right, single thread, okay, the name of the pod is NDB MTD, which is multi-trading. But actually, after we show, it's actually NDB NDBD, which is a single thread. Okay, something that we need to improve. Anyway, this operator has not GA. Okay, <laughs> it's not GA. It's just sharing. <laughs> so again, you can try just to play with it and uh, try to understand about the concept of NDB cluster. We thought, you know going deep into installing NDB cluster. Sometimes it's quite hard also. So yeah, using these MySQL operators, I, th I think help us to understand more about NDB cluster. And then uh, NDB, MG MGMD, and then uh, MySQL D, right, over there. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Eight, yeah, or seven. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Seven uh, API. So out of seven API, uh, two API is used by MySQL uh, instance. And then we can get the NDB cluster status uh, using uh, NDB uh, MGM. Yeah. There are two ways. We can log into a management node and use all status, and we can get um, NDB, clus NDB cluster data nodes uh, status, okay. whether up and running or not. Okay. Or we can connect to MySQL node. We can connect to MySQL node and query from there. Okay, every MySQL node will have a schema called NDB info, and there are a lot of uh, tables inside NDB info that we can see. Okay, to manage uh, this is uh, metadata of the NDB cluster as well as uh, you know all the monitoring to monitoring data. Uh, we can check the status in NDB info tables. Like I say, <laughs> we don't create secret okay the operator will create secret for us with some random value okay we need to get the random value so that's why uh, we need to use this base 64 minus d and then kubectl minus n get secret and secret name just and path that are the password and we got the value okay the value is this one okay <laughs> the value is this one and then we use this value as a good password to log into uh, mysql not and then select not ID status from NDB info dot nodes, and this is the one, actually. The same with, with uh, 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 using uh, NDB underscore MGM. Okay, now cluster is about scaling out and scaling, scaling up. Yeah, scaling out and scaling up. Uh, because uh, cluster is supposed to be, um, you know, scalable. Yeah, uh, not just give high availability, but also scalability as well. So scaling out data nodes, okay, we can up, update the, we can use kubectl patch, okay, to patch data node not counts, okay. Remember that there is not count inside the data node, yeah. So yeah, from two to four, okay. 
That means there will be two node group because uh, redundancy level is two. Now data node count is four. So four divided by two is two. So two uh, node group. And then um, this one is not enough. This one only define uh, data nodes not count on NDB cluster definition, but it's not the stateful set itself. So we still need to uh, scale out the stateful set. We need to scale the stateful set for the data nodes. Yeah, not just definition, but we need to manually scale out from two uh, set the replicas from two to four. Okay, once done, then there will be rolling restart. So every change in NDB cluster it require rolling restart. Uh, restart from um, management node, data node, and MySQL. But however, okay, even though it is rolling restart, since rolling restart is only one by one, and NDB cluster is fully highly redundant, so there is nothing happen. There will be no ha nothing happen in the, in the application actually. Okay. Uh, once done, uh, rolling restart done, then uh, we can check. Uh, you log in again to NDB MG. Uh, login again to the uh, management node and run ndb underscore mgm, okay, and show. Uh, we will s uh, we s then we see uh, four data nodes already, okay. And node group right now there are two node group, not one node group anymore, but two node group because redundancy level is four, right? I mean redundancy level is two, but data uh, data node counts is four, yeah. Now. Scaling out MySQL node, yeah, data node already. Now MySQL node, MySQL node is quite simple. Okay, unlike data node, data node require uh, uh, CubeCTL patch, yeah, uh, CubeCTL um, skill skill the stateful set, skill the stateful set or set the replica to four. But on MySQL node, we don't need, yeah, only one step, just patch the and DB cluster definition only, okay? From not con equal to two to not con equal to four. That's it. Then, you know, uh, there are another. There are two MySQLD running, yeah, occupying uh, two uh, spare uh, API service API. Uh, this one, as you see over here, if we want to scale out. Uh, data node, then there are two steps. If we want to scale out SQL node, one step. Why troublesome? Because it's database. It's not to be like, you know, application, yeah, easily to scale. Okay. Database is more because many things we need to, to think, yeah. Um, we need to think, uh, like, like, like the availability of storage and so on, right? So, yeah. Because it's a stateful application, stateful. Resource, yeah. Scaling out sometimes is not it's not enough. We want to make uh, data not uh, taking more data because data not uh, uh, store data in memory. Okay, it has a parameter called data memory. Okay, parameter data memory define uh, memory allocated memory for data not to store both data and index. Okay, data and index. And then uh, we can check memory size using um, NDB info table, which is config params and config values. Then we can get uh, the data memory is 98 megabyte. Okay, this default one. So we want to increase to 300, let's say for example. Then we need to change the config map. So in NDB MGM, remember that uh, management node uh, store the consolidated uh, database parameter for all nodes, including data nodes and uh, you know some of the MS MySQL D. Yeah, some of the MySQL D. Then uh, management nodes actually when we deploy, uh, when we deploy the NDB cluster using a MySQL uh, NDB operators, it will create config map for us. The config map is standard. Okay. Data, data memory in config map is set to 98. And this config map is mapped into uh, one of particular files inside the NDB, NDB, data, uh, NDB management node, okay, to 
to uh, you know for for data not to spin yeah uh, to take memory yeah then um, in order to in order for us to change data memory uh, parameters then we need to edit the config map yeah config map that used by management node so and then set the data memory then once done unfortunately we need to do a manual rolling restart so we need to do a rolling restart one by one. Okay. Uh, first, we need to restart the stateful set of uh, management node. Okay. Wait for rolling restart to complete. Then uh, we start with the second rolling restart, which is uh, data node. Wait for data node rolling restart to complete. Then we set uh, restart the stateful set for uh, MySQL node as well. But data nodes, uh, data memory is supposed to be, um, you know, very rare, right? To 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 increase, yeah, unless it is necessary. Lah. So this exercise uh, looks heavy, but yes, uh, it's very rare. Yeah, it's very rare situation where the user or customer, okay, wants to increase data memory. And now, uh, after we do a rolling restart for management node, data node, and uh, MySQL node, then we can do uh, checking on the data memory size. Okay, using NDB info dot config params and config values, and we got uh, 300, 300 meg. And then, okay, uh, this is the architecture of NDB cluster. Okay, after we deploy and then increase the number of uh, node counts, okay, for data node and increase the number of node count for SQL node. Yeah, then uh, finally we have one management node. Yeah. Uh, uh, two management node deployed as stateful set, okay, with one management node service, okay, because anyway, service is very important because uh, Kubernetes does not uh, does not assign, uh, uh, I mean, static IP for the pod, but always dynamic, so communications is always uh, through uh, service. And four data nodes, as you see over there, node zero, node one, node two, node three. Also, it has, you know, they have their own, uh, their own ser service. I mean, it, they are deployed as a stateful set also, and has uh, one uh, service, which is my NDB dash NDB MTD. And uh, SQL node is also the same, as you see there. Okay, then, how about the high availability? This is just a screenshot to prove that uh, high availability is available across all nodes, right? Even though uh, SQL node is uh, stateless, but you know, since data is pushed down into the data node, okay, uh, stored in data node, then uh, any transaction that happens and committed on one of SQL node, as long as the table engine is using NDB, then the data will be able to we can see the data across yeah in other SQL node as you see over there okay my uh, the first one okay I log in to MySQL D0 right remember that all is uh, read write uh, my MySQL node are, are read write then I create database test and create table test dot test and engine equal to NDB don't forget engine equal to NDB very important and then insert into test dot test values and select uh, star from test.test .test and then I got that uh, record right then I log into the second node okay of my SQL my SQL uh, uh, second node uh, second SQL node then I got the same third SQL node also the same so yeah this is the kind of like uh, high availability that NDV cluster give to the you know both application that using SQL to connect and NDB API as well, uh, application that use NDB API as well. Yeah. Thank you. Any questions?